hi guys and welcome back to Jay's Book Corner. Today I'm going to be doing an April book haul before it's over. Most of my books were bought with birthday money because my birthday was April 4th and after that I just kept buying books and I do not feel bad about it. I should but I don't feel bad about it. Do it, do it, do it, do it. <sighs> All my lovely, beautiful books. My babies. And this is not even half of them, like, literally. Ugh. They're all gonna fall. So, first one's up is... Radio Free Dixie by Timothy B. Tyson. He was a black controversial activist during 1925 through 1996, but mostly through the 1950s he got more popular. Um, he believed in action when it came to fighting back for your freedom um, during segregation time. He was also a part of the Black Panther Party, so that should explain a lot. So, next book I got was The Immortal Life of Henrietta Lack by Rebecca Cooley. I'm pretty sure I'm saying her last name wrong. Book about this lady and what she went through with dealing with scientists and her, I believe it was her blood cells? Um, I'm, I'm not even, I'm sure, but I'm not sure, because I don't want to give you guys the wrong thing. Yeah, her, her was her cells, um, and they still use them today, so that's kind of weird. But anyways, another book that I got was called Homegoing by Yah Yassi. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See, so this book is about two half sisters. They live in different villages during um, slavery time, I believe, the 18th century, uh, and they have two totally different lives. I believe one village is wealthy and taken over by white men, and one village is poor and they, they haven't invaded their village at all yet. But um, it's very good, and it's. It's about trouble, slavery, and I'm pretty excited about reading this, and it's a part of my my library, so I'm very, I'm very happy for that. Another book that I bought was The Time Traveler's Wife. Audrey Nifernegger. Negra. Negra. Uh, two other books that I got were Kiss Me With Your Toes, two newest books, Lady, Night, Lady Midnight and Lord of Shadows. Uh, this is book series which is the dark artifices yeah um i read her mortal instrument except for the very last book which is i believe heavenly fire and i read all of her infernal devices except for the very last book which is clockwork princess <laughs> i know i know i was introduced to cassandra claire by my sixth grade um science teacher cool Cassie Arnold I love you thank you for introducing this awesome lady to me um, so yes I will be continuing her series I'm pretty excited about this next I have The Handmaid's Tale by Margaret Atwood um, my cousin introduced this to me go figures um, my next book is my cousin she is the author of this she wrote this book and I bought it off of Amazon. Um, so far, I am currently reading this book. I'm I'm a little bit far in, but um, I've been dealing with college homework and exams and stuff like that. But this book is about social issues that are faced every day for women, no matter what color you are. We're all facing change. But Warm Dark Damp Places by Zakora Rain. 
another book well actually multiple books because Lauren Kate has a fallen series I bought not all of them because I believe I'm looking at three more or four more I'm not sure but I really only cared about the fallen series I started reading her books in middle school because they were popular then another series that I got um the if I stay oh yes I am missing two books for this series okay nice but if I stay series by Gail Foreman I'm not sure what you guys call it but I just call it the if I stay series I did watch the movie so I never read the book but I did read this book out of order the next thing that I had read was just one day and it was good which I felt bad I should have just read the entire series but I didn't Another book that I saw going around the feed and that I couldn't stop looking at in the bookstore because it has such a beautiful cover and I do not have the entire series for it but A Darker Shade of Magic by V.E. Schwab. I am following her on Instagram which I did not know like reading this. Another book that I got was Dante's The Inferno which I read, I read half of it in Medieval Humanities. And I love anything that does that deals with medieval, um, religious, anything, everything that this talks about. I love it. And I got it for five ninety nine at my community bookstore called Bright Light Books. Um, and I'm happy that I I spent good money for this. Another book that I got was The Lovely Bones from Goodwill for fifty eight cents. Yeah, so I remember reading this high school is when I first found out about this book. It's, so good. it's really good. Two books that I got off of Amazon. Actually, no, I bought this from Barnes and Noble for fourteen dollars. The Book of Enoch by Richard Lawrence, and I also bought this book off of Amazon called Logos the Divine Truth by Deshaun Debose. And this is also another cousin of mine who wrote this wonderful book. Water for Elephants by Sarah Goulden. Um, this I also got from Goodwill for 68 cents. Um, I know they have a movie out with, um, I know I'm saying a lot of ums. What is his name? I have no idea what this book is about. I'm sorry to tell you guys. I have no idea, but I'm, I like to I like to dive into certain books not knowing what they're about. So, Order for Elephants. These two books, this one I also got from Goodwill, called The Zookeeper's Wife by Diane Ackerman. This is such a good movie. I didn't know it was a book. I feel so bad. But the movie is so good. It's so good. The man smuggled many... I believe smuggled is not a good word for this. But I'm gonna use it. He, he saved many, many Jewish people. Both men and women and children. And he helped them escape to freedom. He started saving many Jewish people, pretending that he was working with the Nazis to try and send them off to concentration camps, when really he wasn't. He was saving them. The Hari Mafi. Um, I've been seeing this also on BookTube, and I'm pretty excited about getting into this. I probably won't read it until I get the entire series, because look at this. This, this is so thin. I'm going to read this in one week, or maybe even a couple of few days. So... I have to have the whole entire series so that I can keep going and keep reading, so I'm excited. Another book that I got, The Cellar, The Cabin, Awake, You Will Be Mine. And I read her first book on Wattpad when she wasn't as popular then. So I'm pretty excited to see Homegirl get popular. Outlander. And Games of Thrones by George R. R. Martin. Um, I did start reading Games of Thrones last year. No, watching last year. But I stopped because I did not understand 
good. And so I found out that it was a book. And so now I will be reading this before watching the show again. And also, this book and show is new to me, Outlander. So I'm pretty excited. Like, these two are in the same category. So I decided to put these together. And they do sit by each other in my library. So I'm happy. And I'm going to go through these pretty fast because I don't want the video to be too long. Well, not too, too fast, but they're in the same category. Black Boy by Richard Wright. The narrative, interesting narratives and writings. 12 Years of Slavery by Solomon Northup. North I'm sorry. The Ditch Digger's Daughters by Yvonne S. My last book, um, Seize the Time by Bobby Seale. Um, it talks about Black Panther Party and Huey and Huey P. Newton. He was also a part of the Black, the Black Panther Party as well. The Short and Tragic Life of Robert Keith. This is the man that got shot by the police in his car. The cop in his car? He was shot by the cop in his car. another guy but um guys so i don't remember how he died my sophomore year i bought neon soul by alexandra l i do follow her on instagram and she has a podcast called hey girl and i saw that she, this is her first book that she ever wrote and it is poetry it's nothing but poetry and she has writing i mean beautiful pictures and drawings in this book so this is a poetry book that i bought on amazon and i'm excited about reading this one so yeah the plague by albert Camus. the alienist by caleb card and then i have these two books i'm missing one by jojo moyes i think i'm missing two because she came out with another one i have after me and before me before you. I I'm sorry, guys. I bought this yesterday. Don't kill me. Don't let my mom know that I bought all of these books. Like, no, I'm kidding, guys. But um, Jeff Vanderman, the Bree the Southern Reach trilogy. I did read the first. I did no, I didn't read it, but I watched it. Annihilation. I do not understand that movie. And but last. But not least to this book haul, Dread Nation no, Ireland. Okay, this book I finished in one week because it was so good. It was so good. And I'm upset with myself because it came out April 3rd. And I know she won't bring out the second book till maybe next year. I'm, I'm guessing next year. But this book i will be doing a review on it this book is so good <sighs> it's so good and i have to pick up my other books ready player one by i did see the movie i'm a little bit upset that it i didn't know that it was a book worthing hearts by emily bronte paradise lost by this was recommended by my cousin because since I got the book of Enoch, I also got Paradise Lost because it explains about fallen angels and Crucible by Arthur Miller. And this little guy completes my final book and my big, huge April book haul. The struggle will always forever be real. I'm sorry. I'm doing good. I'm doing good. They won't fall. And thank you for watching my April 2018 book haul. I enjoyed filming this and showing you guys all of my books, different genres that I love reading. And I'm pretty excited about reading them, to be honest. And half of these are, are for my future students when I graduate as an educator. 
a teacher for elementary kids. I'm so excited, but <sighs> soon. We're getting there. Please like, subscribe, and comment. Uh, mostly comment. I love seeing you guys talk and just tell me your recommendations and just I I love it. I love it. It's like a discussion group, as if I'm on I'm on online class basically. But keep reading, keep living life, and just enjoy. And that is all I have. Okay. But anyways, bye guys. Kindness.